The Pomodoro Technique – How to Master Your Time in 25-Minute Blocks Do you have a hard time completing all your projects, or do you feel rushed at the last minute cramming for an important test? Odds are you are bombarded with projects, courses, and lengthy to-do lists, which all leads to an overwhelming level of stress. So how do you get everything finished efficiently? One possible solution is to use a popular timing block system called the Pomodoro Technique. In this video, we'll explore the Pomodoro Technique and help you become hyper-focused on important tasks, and then I will provide a simple five-step process for implementing this concept. Now be sure to watch this video all the way to the end, because I will talk about the number one mistake that many people make when using the Pomodoro Technique. Also, we will talk a lot about successful habits to level up your life on this channel, so be sure to like this video, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you want to see more content like this in the future. Let's get started about talking about why it's important to effectively manage your time. A few years back, I discovered a simple truth called Parkinson's Law. It states, work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. This means the more time you have to finish a project, the longer you'll take to complete it. Do you have a project that's due in a week? Then you'll probably take the full week to complete it. Need something done in three hours? You can probably get it done in three hours. For a complex expansion of Parkinson's Law, let's watch our video that will link to it in the description box. According to Parkinson's Law, if we have time to procrastinate, we will. To combat this, you must manufacture strict deadlines and literally have a ticking clock in the background while you work or study. This will increase your productivity and give you more time to spend doing things you enjoy. Consider this. There are only 675,450 hours in the average human life. You can't get those hours back. If you're working hard every day without seeing results, you're wasting your life one hour at a time. The solution to this is to stop working on projects haphazardly. Instead, create a plan and stick to it with a focused mindset using the Pomodoro Technique. So let's dive into the basics of the Pomodoro Technique. The Pomodoro Technique is a time management tool where you focus on one task for 25-minute intervals with a 5-minute break between each task, which is meant to help your brain absorb the work you've just completed or information you've read. After completing four Pomodoros, take a longer break, usually 15 to 30 minutes, to really rejuvenate your mind. Francisco Cirello first came up with the Pomodoro system in the late 1980s as a college student, naming the technique after the Italian word for tomato, which represented the tomato-shaped kitchen timer he used while he was working. The Pomodoro method works because you force yourself to focus 100% on one task, like writing, coding, or studying. When the clock is ticking, you ignore any internal or external interruptions, such as texts, emails, or social media, and remain laser-focused. Now, Cirillo recommends sticking to one strict rule about the Pomodoro technique. A Pomodoro cannot be split into more than one segment, so if you're interrupted during a Pomodoro, either the other activity has to be delayed or the Pomodoro is abandoned. I have to admit, I was skeptical when I first heard about the Pomodoro technique. I was used to working at my own pace and doing things when it was convenient for me. Sometimes that meant two hours of uninterrupted work, and other times it meant working for five minutes during a commercial break. However, after using this technique for almost eight years, I can honestly say it's been a game changer when it comes to improving my productivity. It doesn't matter what task I'm doing, writing, answering emails, social media, or crafting scripts for awesome YouTube videos. The ticking clock in the background keeps me focused on the task at hand. And if you implement this technique, you will stop multitasking, focus more on your work, get more accomplished with a sense of urgency, avoid the perfectionist mindset by overly fine-tuning a project, develop more willpower and concentration, decrease stress by doing one thing at a time. So if you would like to use the Pomodoro technique in your life, then here is a simple five-step process to get you started. Number one, identify your task and the amount of time you will dedicate to it. Set a timer for 25 minutes. If you want to use an app, then we have a list of seven Pomodoro apps to try, link in the description box. Work exclusively on the task until the timer goes off. Take a five minute break for energy renewal before restarting the timer. Take a 20 to 30 minute break after four Pomodoros. Sounds simple, right? 
Now let's talk about the number one mistake that people make when using the Pomodoro technique. You must always remember that breaks between Pomodoros are not optional, especially if you're using this technique to study. When it comes to studying, your mind needs time for assimilation to fully allow the information you've been reviewing to sink in so you can recall it in the future. Or if you're working hard on a project for 25 minutes, your mind needs a break to rest and recover. So when the buzzer rings, stop work and get up to take a break. During these short breaks, you can do a few rejuvenating activities like stretching, grabbing a protein-rich snack, going to the restroom, making a cup of tea, or simply relaxing for five minutes. It doesn't matter what you do, just as long as you take a break. Overall, the Pomodoro technique can help you create a dramatic improvement in your productivity. Done correctly, you can quickly get in the zone and do your best work in the most efficient manner. Now it's your turn to participate in the conversation by answering one simple question. Would you rather A. Spend your time waffling around from project to project, or B. Spend your time completely focused on each task to maximize your results? Hopefully, you picked option B. And if you want to share your answer, then leave a comment below this video. Next, if you want to see more habit building and productivity resources, then check out our playlist of the best personal development apps. Again, the link is in the description box. Finally, we talk a lot about success habits to level up your life on this channel, so be sure to like this video, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you want to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stick around to watch the next video in our channel.